What's up there guys, TennisBubba13 here, we are back for some more Let's Play, good old Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Alrighty, so if you recall from the last episode, we have took care of Turtle Woods and Snowgo. We got the first special gem from this stage here. There's going to be plenty more of that action, I'll tell you what. But now we're going to go ahead and take on Hang 8. Hang 8, that's like Hang Loose, bro. I like the name of it, and I like this level right here too. It's very fun. I must say, this this actually the music. If you play, if you listen to this music here, this reminds me of like going surfing. So I always just every time I play this level, hey look, I'm surfing. Not really, because I don't really surf too. That's that's the whole irony, I guess. Looks like we're, we're about to get another um, Aku. I actually did some. Uh, thankfully, I looked back and I actually remember this guy's name now. It's Aku. Aku, I think that's what. It, well, there's two Aku Akus, but basically this guy will help you out. Um, during anything if possible and he's also pretty much a star he's like I always call him like the star man of this game looks like we're about to get another one right here too BAM even though you this thing right here I'm writing you can't really like get the special star thing while I'm in this vehicle so that kind of sucks I mean it would be kind of cool to do that but right here as you can see we're controlling this little surfboard I think or it's like a motorized surfboard but it's really cool actually the controls may feel a little bit I must say, but it's all good. There's only a little short, short section of that, so we'll be getting a lot of that in this game. I'll tell you what. These little plant things right here are kind of a douchebag because they're like, oh, I'm gonna eat you. Alright, so another quick bonus we can take care of. Go and get me some more of these fruits. These little fruits! Action! <laughs> Alright, so do a little crawling. I forgot to mention for crawling. Uh, it's basically holding the R1 button, and you can crouch too. It looks like he's like sniffing something. <laughs> I always think he's like a dog. Um, Crash Bandicoot, I think he's like something uh, rather than a Bandicoot. I must say, he, he does kind of remind me of a dog, but really he's like typically a Bandicoot. I'm not sure if there's such things as Bandicoots. There might be, but I'm just not really like familiar with animals that much. But we'll see. All right. So the good thing about this blue diamond thing piece or whatever this is, a blue gem here. We can now access it. Without this, this thing will just be invisible and we can, well, cannot basically progress through because there's like other boxes in this level that we can now hit. So that's good. You want these and I just died. I just died. That's kind of, it just happened. I mean, Crash Bandicoot cannot swim apparently. He just like suddenly took a dive. I, I don't think I can go back on this. Yeah, because after you've done a bonus, can't really go back on it because you got all the boxes and that would just suck if I had to go back on there but we're gonna try this again hopefully I don't fall off this time that would just be kind of stupid I must say really whoever heard such a thing called falling off I must I just don't like that at all Ooh, extra life nice so expect me to get a lot of extra lives because this game is pretty generous in doing that <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna have some fun with that Crash is just dancing like a pro with that boxes. Oh, whoa, I did not mean to fell there. Wow. That's... Wow. <laughs> did I ever mention platformers? Well, I would say platformers for me... Okay, for my gaming experience, platformers have never been a, a thing of mine for some reason. So that, that's just kind of interesting how I, I, I bring this up, because that's... <laughs> the reason why I'm LPing this is because platformers are typically my failed attempts, but whatever. Alright, so we're gonna actually not bounce up up in there, we're gonna actually spin and destroy them. I can do that. Or I'm just gonna hit them with my bonking head, kinda like Mario Brothers, like he hits those bricks. There we go, I wanted to do that. Be a little bit quicker. Let's actually wait for this thing to come back, nice and slowly. And we can now hop on this hippo, who's just, you know, being a hippo. Typical stuff this and look at all these boxes oh boy uh, this part right here is gonna be a little bit tricky here uh, there we go all right do not touch the nitro there's a checkpoint just in case because I have a feeling like that's gonna happen and every time crash dies like that it's so funny because he's like a ghost and he's playing his didgeridoo so <laughs> that's kind of funny I must say there's a lot of humor in this game I'll tell you that so we got this stuff once more. 
Make sure to, uh, to dash. I think it's basically any button. Yeah, I want to say it's any button. You can also do it with the uh, R button. I think the left button. Nope, that doesn't do anything. R button does something, I think. Probably not. Oh well. What you want to do right here is just hit this block. We're going to come back and hit that other box in just a moment. Let's see if I could do this without screwing up here. I'm, whoa, that was close there. He's riding it like a pro, I must say. So we're going to go all the way back here. Got some boxes. I got to break. Come here, you. Crash is in love with boxes. There we go. Dude, he's doing some tricks off of these boards. Nice. Boom. And I think that was it. So we can just now progress through and go back to the spot. Because we have another green box we can hit. Now. I like it. Destroying boxes has always been a pleasure. So it, it's great. Crash Bandicoot, you are doing good stuff. Doing good stuff. Doing a lot of great stuff here, I must say. So, that is probably going to be the rest of this area. Now all that's left is just getting out of this place. Nice and easy. Because look, there's our crystal. Bam! Awesomeness. And some more jumps. This game is really clever. I really like this game. Platformers have always been a few favorites of my choice of gaming. And I'm just going to roll with it. And we need to turbo our way through the away from the vortex. That would be just so nasty if I got in that. And do some more tricks because I love tricks. They're not for kids though. Apparently. So let's go up past that. And now I think that's about it. That's about it. Yeah, that's it. It's just this plant thing is in my way, but it's okay because I killed him. And we got our gems for the boxes. And that's all she wrote for this level. So not so bad. I had two deaths. <laughs> Could have gone away with it, but whatever. Hang 8 is an awesome level, I must say. And there's going to be others like that, I'll tell you what. And, uh, yeah. I think all I'm missing is that gem, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to come back in that later on little bit um and oh what now we have another cutscene three crystals not bad i see you are getting the hang of it i need to conserve power i will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal all right you keep interrupting me cortex i'm just gonna keep doing my business what you gotta say about that Anyways, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take on the pits. Next level, this is level three. And let's see what we got here. I think, if I remember correctly, this level is pretty easy, I must say. Just like in the first one, it's pretty much the same as the first level, only I think there's a couple more uh, varieties that we were facing with. Let's go ahead and get Aku once more, just chilling out in the back. Oh God, dodging them birds. You can't kill them, just like that. I know you can possibly kill them. Blow up this TNT, because we are going to go boom, goes the dynamite. Yeah, there we go. Don't worry about it if you run up a little bit past it, you, you still will destroy it. Just, I had, that's the thing, like, every time I played this game, like, I always thought when I destroy the TNT barrels, like, I always thought if I run past them, it's not going to explode or anything like that, but it, it, it still does. It still does. Don't worry about that. We're all good. Let's get my checkpoint. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. And let's destroy this, because we don't need it anymore. Yeah, at least that's what I think. Alright, anyways, we're moving along here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Now, the notice thing, the, the difference about this one here, he has this little blade on his back, so that's gonna, definitely gonna watch out for that, because we have to now use our spin attack in order to destroy them. Just like the spiky turtles. Hit guy. Suddenly hit an armadillo, which I didn't really mean to. But it's all good. Alright, so as you notice from back there, uh, we have like a little junction point. We're gonna have to come back to that spot on the other side because, of course, there's. I think there's some invisible blocks that we can. Well, now, it's, now that I hit that, it's probably gonna show up on the other side. Of and uh, there's our crystal right there. Let's go ahead and collect that. And uh, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Don't worry about this fool, because he's just a turtle. And I'm actually going to go this way here. If I'm more careful, I can... You have to be careful going this way. You can go either path. I mean, I just particularly like to go that way, because those, the boxes over here that you go are probably not visible. So that's one reason why I like to take care of that switch. I think, 
I'm not sure. I'm just gonna keep looking to see how. That's not a. That's not a box. That's a turtle that just almost killed me. Thank God Aku was there. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going ahead here. You do need to be a little bit slow because, as you can see, I got killed, and that's not always good. Because now I have to go back to the last checkpoint I hit. Was probably on the other side. Yeah. Not a very good thing because now I gotta go all the way back and kill all those boxes. Which is not the greatest thing in the whole wide world, to be honest. So let's go back and take care and not, not get hit by birds. I don't like birds. I know the bird is the word. But we're gonna have to do it. It's only like a few. Yeah. It's only a few steps. No biggie. It's not a big deal. Or anything like that. Just gonna do it. Just gotta be a little bit more careful now that I don't have. Uh, Aku anymore. That's kind of. Yeah, that's just kind of weird like that. I think I'm pronouncing Aku's name right. Like, I'm pretty sure it's Aku, not, not anything else, if I remember correctly. So, just in case you people are curious to what I'm pronouncing here. Whoa, I didn't mean to hit that turtle almost. I almost hit that turtle again. And oh god. Da, 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 da. I thought that was a blade turtle, but apparently not. Apparently not. Alright, so I guess I will try this once more. I might just beat you guys over there. One second. Okay, I think this is the part where I died here. I destroyed all those turtles. Oh my god, there's some more turtles. I'm gonna play it safe and just let you go that way. Be a good turtle. There we go. There's the checkpoint, just in case if I die. Oh god, oh god. Uh. See, that's the one thing I don't really like much about this, well, in this area, if I want to go back to this spot right here. I never know, like, what's coming up ahead of me. So, I'm just gonna slowly progress through, I think, I'm pretty sure that's all the boxes right here now. I'm just gonna keep looking for it, if not, so be it. Oh, that's it. That's good. Doesn't matter which way I go now, because at this point on, that's basically it for this area, I want to say. So I'm just gonna run all the way back. Too bad there's like no sprint option. I know in like one of the other Crash Bandicoot games you have the option to sprint. They have, there's like this certain power up that you get like to make it go faster and whatnot. I think that's from Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex if I'm not mistaken. But that's all good because now we're kindly slowly going back to where we just were before. Jump. Do a little... Yeah, look at that. Crash is hanging loose, bro. He's just so loose. He's loosey-goosey all the time. Alright, let's try to get that shortcut, which I just failed. I, I know I'm probably going to abuse that shortcut all the time, but no. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, now we should be getting some progress. See, look, there's our bonus stage, which we haven't been for a while. Alright, let's go ahead. I don't need to worry about this thing. This box right here, you can't destroy. We're going to have to ground pound it or body slam it. In order to break those boxes, that's the only way to destroy them. And we got some TNT barrels, and I need to get out of the way. Because I don't want to be... TNT! I'm dynamite! Yeah, that's... Uh, that's not very good to do that. Okay, so as you saw, there's some invisible boxes we need to get. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to play a little bit tricky here. So we need to hit that box. And, we, well, we can just destroy these first. Boom! Body slam for the win, bruh! Alright, let's hit this. Extra life. And, of course, we need to uh, jump on these boxes. And that one is going to be destroyed. And there's some extra lives right there. Huzzing! Extra life for the win, bruh! For the win! Alright, now let's be a little bit tricky here. Because those boxes are just going to be destroyed. That's basically it, I think. Ooh, playing a little careful. Playing a little bit careful on my jumps. But it's all good, we got this. Let's get some fruits. Some more fruits, baby! Fruits, aw. Oh. No shortcuts for me, apparently. So instead, we got some little moles that we gotta take care of. I don't know, I don't know if, I'm not sure if these are moles or something like that. They look like, just, like, moles or something like that. I don't even know if they have tails like that, to be honest. Oh, darn, I was so close that time. <laughs> I always try to, like, you know, incorporate that, like, for speed running this, because I'm tired of just, like, going inside these pits. But these things are so bad. Hey, look, it's the end of the level. Awesome. Gem! Nice. 
That's so sweet. And that's the end of the level. Huzzing! We are making some good progress. Only died a few, but that's okay. The pits is generally an easy stage, I must say. And ooh yeah, there's our gem. Just yeah, buddy, doing them dance, doing a sexy dance. All right, giggity 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 goo. <laughs> oh whatever. Oh no, cutting that time, huh? Let's see, how are we doing on time? Crash dash. I would like to finish this. Let's get this out of the way. Why not? And then maybe the next episode I'll take on the boss, save it up, and then fight the boss, and then we'll move on from there. I would like to somehow finish this level before I even, you know, start the next recording session. This level, by the way, is really, really jerkish, I must say. Because what we're about to do is probably not one of my favorites. That's right, we got a little Indiana Jones action going on. What you know about that? So we gotta out-chase this boulder. Not touch those things, as you saw right there. Those will stop Crash Bandicoot from progressing. Just for a little short second, but that's okay. Checkpoint! Going to whoa, get this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I'm just I'm gonna try to focus as much as I can while I'm talking because, as you know, I don't really do good while I'm talking, but that's okay because we're making some good progress. Oh my god, electric wires! But that's okay. Hey, we got an extra life. Nice checkpoint again. I must say, there's gonna be other levels like this, so don't, don't you get so comfortable just yet. Alright, well, we're making some good progress. Let's see. This guy's catching up. This boulder thing is catching up. Alright, as of course, don't need to, no need to worry about nitros because that thing will just destroy them. It looks like that thing's gonna go. That thing's gonna go bye bye while I collect my gem, or crystal. And here we go. Bonus stage. Let's see what we got here. And boom. Alright, so this thing, you can't. You don't want to touch this as this thing bonks up and down. So, huh, there we go. Alright, get some more fruits. Those are all fruity, I must say. Alright, don't need to worry about extra life. Probably not gonna go crazy on extra lives that much, but we'll see. I mean, this game is not so bad. I, I will say that. I will say that in my prize, in my pr most prized moment in video game history. Oh god. So, bouncy, 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 and a bouncy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I just barely made that jump. Sweetness, we got some fruits, we got some boxes, we're doing good. We're doing good, bro. Why do I keep saying bro, bro? I mean, I'm from California. I don't know, the, the saying, all that typical slang stuff that we say in California, like for surfers or whatever. You know, because the place that I usually go to for beaches and stuff, I see a lot of surfers there. Uh, it could be kind of, you know, sort of appropriate for us because we're Californians. We, we like say stuff all the time that just sounds so crazy, I must say. I don't know, for those people who live in California, you're living the good life, I must say. Oh god, this part's so annoying because I hate this. Uh, this is the last stretch right here. And I really don't like this last stretch because there's going to be boxes that I need to like somehow stay away from this thing at the very end. And I just fell. My god. <laughs> This shoes go flying off, that's so funny. Alright, let's try this again. This time, let's not fall into the pit of darkness. And I just did it again. Wow. Unbelievable. So yeah, not one of my favorite levels, did I ever mention that? <laughs> Alright. Luckily, I think... I don't know if this thing slows down. Oh my god, that thing almost caught up. And, jeez, I want to hit those broke boosts. Those boosts are practically your key to get those blast boxes, I think, in this area. Let's see what we got here. And yeah, right here. Oh my god. Same thing again. Grr. That's just sad face. Sad face, indeed. Okay, let me try this again. Hopefully I can get this. I don't think this place is too far from where we're at. Oh god, let's get these boosts. There we go. Use, the bo use those boosts to get through spots, even though we're not going to Star Fox. That. Okay, past this bridge. Let's try that uh, again. Really? Really, game? <laughs> We're gonna play this game. Oh, we are so playing this game. 
Challenge accepted, bro. Challenge accepted. Extra life! Yeah, buddy. Almost there. Almost there. Right here. There we go. Oh, if I could just get these last boxes. Oh, God! We did it! We did it. That's the hardest section right there to get the, get the jam. It's just the hardest part right there. Hands down. Flat out the hardest. There's And there's another one like this. So, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Huzzing! Crash dash complete. Got all the gems, all the crystals in this section. We are good. Um, just celebrating. Yeah, that derpy face. <laughs> Listen up. We are not without enemies. Some of them you may even recognize. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp room, they can attack you on your way to the next one. To get to the next warp room, use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Good luck. Alrighty, so with all that stuff done, let's go quickly save up before, before I do anything else. I think I want to just take on the boss and then stop it from there. So let's save up my game. As you know, this is my practice file. I'm probably going to be spending a little bit more time on my practice file because I haven't really quite finished beating the game, but I'm Probably gonna do some more practicing and time from time between episodes. So that's all good. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take on our first boss of the game. Which is by far one of the easiest bosses, probably. Obviously because it's the very first boss. Bo first bosses are typically the easiest. But here we got Ripper Roo. It's all like, finish eh? I'm reading a book. This little clash cloud is definitely interrupting me. Yes, quite. So, Ripperoo, he's just gonna be kind of uh, hopping around, creating TNTs, and he's kind of a crazy lunatic. <laughs> but, uh, next up, he has a couple phases. I think these are his two phases right here. I think this is all that he basically is doing. So, you wanna try to stay away from those boxes. That's the goal for this fight. Let's see, where is he going to go? Where is, is he going to go? Probably right here. So let's get out of the way. And you can only hit him during the Nitro phase right here. So where is he going to go? Where is he going to go? Where are you at, bro? Where are you going? Right here. And boom. Alright, we got one more hit on this dude. Oh no, he's going to spawn. I guess I'm probably going to have to stand in the middle. Yeah, no, 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 don't do that. Oh, God, I forgot I can't hit him. Oh, 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 oh. I think if you touch those boxes, yeah, that's pretty much a KO right there. So we're just going to stand right here and jump. Because I feel like jumping. And get old, Ripperoo. Get old. Yeah, buddy, celebrate with a dance. We're different. Dude, turn around, dude. No, don't face that way. The camera's this way. Ah, whatever. At least we saw the dance from a different view. But yeah, that's pretty much the first level. This is the second level, which we're going to get into the very next episode. Well, after this cutscene. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Cash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise. Oh no, don't go, Coco. You're about to tell me something, apparently, but oh well. I guess whatever she's telling me, it's probably important. It's something like that. But until then, guys, that is the end. We're going to go into uh, this level right here. As you can see, we got five more courses. But that's like what I said beforehand. And we're going to go tackle 
a couple levels here and there, but I'm going to probably save up, and we'll see you guys next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. Like what you see, rate, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!